Any makeup or anything? <laughs> um, right now I'm working on a bracelet. Uh, it's a custom order from this guy who actually works for the, the Boar's Head Company, and he wanted the logo uh, somewhere on the bracelet. So I'm incorporating it into one of my class, like one of my crossbone class, and I'm cutting the bottoms off and I'm applying it to a carving that I made that looks like their logo. So currently, the logo is done. I'm just gonna try and burn anything. Don't set anything on fire. Yeah, no fire. So I carved a relief, but just a shallow relief of the actual logo. I should get up closer because it's so blown out by the light. So here's the logo, which is just real flat and two-dimensional. And then he sent me a relief mold of it, and I did something else and carved it much smaller and got pretty damn close, I think. So, anyways, that's going to be the main part of the class, which will go on to my, my links. And currently, right now, I'm putting on the class mechanisms in the back. One's on there that has to be clean, and the other one I just spot tacked, and I'm going to finish doing that right now. So, the wax is just fun because if you screw up, you can just start again, you can take, you can add. Um, it's not the most perfect science because it's so forgiving. And probably doing what you're not supposed to do is mix two different kinds of waxes. I'm mixing a carving wax. I'm actually melting a carving wax to a, an injection mold wax. And the injection mold wax is considerably softer. But I've done this over and over and over again, and I've never had a problem with it. Uh, regardless of what people tell me I should and shouldn't do so <laughs> ultimately though it makes it a little harder to carve uh, to do the finishing work um, again though I do a lot of my finishing work in the silver once I get it back from my caster and so I don't worry about it too much so it could go, it could, it'll leave here a little sloppy and then once I get the master that's when I could take it and uh, clean it up in the silver and make it the piece that it should be As with wax pens, you'll have the wax burning off. Um, you gotta let it cool off just a little bit before you keep it going, or otherwise it gets so mucky muck um, that it'll just kind of fall off again or mouth shape. So. And I know there's others out there that could just blow through this, and there's masters. I'm not a master. I've <laughs> kind of pieced this together over the years, and it's. Uh, it's worked. The wax pen is an amazing tool, I think. Um, but does it replace all the carving tools in my mind? I think those are where the, all the art really comes from. So, almost done here. Slowly adding on some pieces. Oh, perfect music for a Thursday. So what I'm trying to do is add on to the base so that when I clean it up, it's going to have a nice transition to it. And also, over time, it'll, it'll have strength so that these links don't bend down if they're sat on or mushed on or all the above. No mushing. No mushing. Some of my clients like to work on cars while they have their jewelry on. and and do all kinds of fun things, so I have to make it for people like that or just like to wear their stuff 24-7 and kudos to them. Um, so I'm going to finish this and I'll clean up and we'll do a little more shots of uh, me cleaning it up. <coughs> Alright, so this thing. This is that little uh, clasp I'm making for that bracelet. And I'm just about done with putting on the two clasp mechanisms that will hold it onto the bracelet. And just doing a little finishing touch here so it'll be smooth. Again, I'm not going for perfection on this because I'm going to do all the finish work in the silver. This is really just kind of roughing it uh, for the attachment. Otherwise, the actual piece itself I tried to get as good as I could and uh, again I'll clean some of it up in silver but that's what I was worried about not so much what I'm putting on now because the class mechanism.
which you know I care about, but uh, in finishing this, it's better done in silver. So, spend a few moments here with my tools and move them this way. these two waxes together which is real fun because one wants to act like a carving the other one just wants to get gouged because the softer wax does not like these tools so fun little challenge again why I'm not super worried about getting this thing perfect um, that'll happen to silver after I send this piece to the caster basically I'm just trying to get the seams kind of flush um, obviously, as little work as I have to do in the silver would be great, but uh, since this is a master, it just uh, it takes a little more time. I love the, the two waxes mixed together to make all these funky colors, and you're like, does that really work? <laughs> but uh, surprisingly, when it's all silver, you can't tell one from the other, so. Uh oh, beer burp. Uh -oh. Oh. Nice. <laughs> and, for the most part, that's it. Uh, normally, I'll hit it with a, one of these little uh, 3M pads and uh, start smoothing out. I'm not going to go crazy because the soft wax doesn't like this stuff as much as the hard wax. I'm going to do just a little. Oh, yeah. And that'll help give it more of a smooth finish. Do the same with this other side here. Now I could go one step past, but there's a wax conditioner you could put on wax and it'll really start smoothing out any kind of imperfections, but uh, I'm not worried about it in this particular piece. I'm do a close up of it because the other one I had. So there it is. There's didn't the have a very good um, shot of it. There's the Boar's Head logo for a guy who works at Boar's Head Deli Meats. Um, this will be a one and only deal because obviously um, this is a trademark issue. I will not be offering this on the site. It's a one time thing for this guy. And uh, yeah, hopefully it'll be stuck. So when it's, got all, when it's all together, I'll do a finished shot of the actual piece and uh, it'll be cool.